Hey guys, this is Maliha and in this video I want to show you how to create a gift guide using Canva. So gift guides are great for when you're an affiliate marketer and you're promoting affiliate products. And this over here is a template of a gift guide that I made a few days ago. Four templates to be specific, four distinct templates. And these templates are free and they're available on my blog. I will leave a link to my blog post in the description below. So if you want, then just follow the link and you can download these templates or the template link from that blog post. Anyway, these are templates, but in this video, I wanna show you how to create a gift guide from scratch using Canva. Now, before I do that, I wanna tell you what you need. So obviously you'll need a product list. So figure out which products you want to promote, how many products, and that should help you um, come up with a layout for the gift guide design. And you're gonna need product images. So if you're promoting physical products, for example, then it's best to have product images. But if you are uh, promoting digital products or digital services, then you don't really need images for example i have a template right here that has a lot of products and descriptions but not very many images so this template is great for um if you're using if you're promoting a lot of digital products but if you're promoting clothes or uh, accessories for example then you know images can help drive more sales then because then people will know what the products look like and they are more likely to click on a product um, and purchase a product so you will need images and images are tricky because sometimes people especially people who are new to affiliate marketing they go to the website and just you know screenshot product images and that can get you into a lot of trouble so don't do that for example let's say that you're an affiliate for free people the clothing company you can't just go to their website go to freepeople.com and start saving their images because they are all copyrighted material so you can't do that don't do that but if you are an affiliate for them then chances are that they will have resources available for you and images for you. And if you don't know where to get them, you can always just, you know, reach out to them, um, contact their support and ask them, hey, I'm creating a gift guide. I want to promote your products. Where can I access um, product images or which images can I use? So make sure that you have explicit permission to use the product images that you're going to um, use in your gift guide okay because otherwise like I said it's gonna get you in a lot of trouble if you violate copyright laws so that's the one thing and the other thing is that since these are mostly gonna be affiliate products you will need affiliate disclaimers so just a piece of text that says that these are affiliate links and um, if you follow these links and make a purchase then I will earn a commission. So something something short and clear like that. So that people know that they're clicking on affiliate links. And also, um, you should always add a link to your website in your gift guides. Because these gift, gu gift guides are going to be PDF documents when you save them. And usually, if a gift guide is in your website, then people know who's recommending them. But if people download a gift guide, a PDF gift guide, like the ones that we're going to create today, then unless you let them know specifically where these recommendations are coming from, they're not going to know or they may forget later. So make sure to add your website URL. And finally, you should also add a description of the kind of products that you are promoting. So if these products are for special occasion, like Valentine's Day or holidays, then, you know, just mention that in the gift guide so people know what they're looking at. Okay, so these are the basics of um, a gift guide. Now let's take a look at how to create a gift guide. 
So I'm going to go back to um, Canva homepage and we're going to create a design, a new design. And ideally, I recommend that you create a gift guide um, in one of these three dimensions, US letter or A4 document or presentation. So you can just click create a design and choose US letter or A4 or presentation. For example, if you start typing presentation, Canva automatically gives you, you know, the dimensions and you can just click that. But for this tutorial, I'm going to use US letter. All right, so I am going to start by giving this design a different color background because I personally don't like white backgrounds, especially in documents that are meant to be reviewed or meant to be seen on the screen. So I'm going to give it a light color background like this one, for example. It's very subtle, but still it's not pure white, so I like that better. And then, as I said earlier, that you need to specify what kind of products or what occasion um, these gifts are meant for. So I'm going to add a text box by typing that or by hitting the T key on my keyboard. Or alternatively, you can go to text on the left panel and then click on a text to add a text like so. Anyway, so let's say that I'm creating a gift guide for Valentine's Day. So Valentine's Day gifts for her. So basically, I'm letting my audience know that these gifts are for people who uh, use the pronoun her. And these are great for Valentine's Day. Now I'm going to change the style a little bit, maybe make the font a little bigger and also make them uppercase. I also want to change the font to um, say Source Sense Pro because lately I'm obsessed with that font. And I also want to add a little bit of spacing for the letters. So I'm going to click this icon right here and then increase the letter spacing to let's say 200. Yeah, it looks much better, I think. All right. And now I am going to add some affiliate disclaimer. So let's say this document contains affiliate links. And if you make a purchase, I'll earn a small mission. Specify the width of the text box like so. And then I'm gonna bring it up here and change the text style. So let's say I want, I don't want it to be all uppercase, so toggle back. I also don't want that much letter spacing for these, so maybe 50. And because I use this uh, this font a lot, I kind of know, you know, how much letter spacing I want for like headers or body text. Um, if you don't know, feel free to play around and see what you like. I'm liking this one. And now I'm going to use some um, images. Now, let's say that I want to have nine products in one page. So that's why it's, it's best to know how many products you're going to promote that way you can kind of figure out you know what style or what layout you're going for so for this one i want nine product images so i'm going to go to elements and to add product images i recommend using either frames or grids for this one i'm going to use a simple square frame like this one and i'm going to make it a little smaller because i'm going to have to um, have nine of these in one page. So something like that looks good, I think. And then I'm going to copy that. So I am going to have three images in one row, like so. And I'm going to uh, I'm going to select all of these by dragging my mouse. And then I will 
hit the position button and then click on tidy up that way as you can see these are equally spaced so that's a pretty nifty feature in canva that you can just hit a hit a button and then they're all nicely equally spaced but wait a second i kind of want them to be closely um, spaced out so i'm just going to manually move them and then select them again go to position tidy up and yeah that's looking much better i think centered them cool now i'm going to add text box that's going to be the product name product name and i'm going to move it right below the text um, the square image box specify the width to be equal to the width of the image box and i will make it a smaller font something like 12 pixel looks good and maybe change the letter spacing to something like 100 better and then i'm going to add another line here and then add a price so maybe let's say 99 dollars perfect make the text box uh, a little closer to the square looks better and then i'm gonna uh, duplicate by hitting this uh, duplicate icon here and then move them underneath each of these boxes like so looking good and i need another row two more rows actually of the same thing so that i have nine products position them and then hit the duplicate button right here icon button these are probably buttons like so Great, and now I want to add my website URL so people know where these recommendations are coming from. So, example.com, move it down here at the footer, and I am going to specify the text box width like so. This is actually something I picked up by, you know, creating a lot of templates because I sell Canva templates and I always want to make sure that people who purchase my Canva templates, they can, you know, if they have a lot more text than I do, they have sufficient room. So I always do that. So that's a, that's a habit from, you know, creating a lot of templates. Anyway, so that's what um, it looks like. So I'm just going to center them a little bit. Uh, this is probably, actually, no, like that. This is better. Okay. So yeah, this is a very, um, how should I put it? Very simple gift guide. It doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles, just a bunch of images and product name, and that's it. Now, I'm assuming that if you're creating a gift guide, you have already procured the images, the product images, but for this tutorial, I'm just gonna use some random images. But if you're gonna, if you already have the images, go to upload, click upload media, and then that prompts you to upload the images from your computer but for this one i'm just going to go to photos and these are stock images in canva so i'm just going to use these to kind of show you what they look like so like that pretty nice right and adding images in canva is pretty straightforward all you have to do is like drag the images to the respective frames and boom it's right there like so there you go a bunch of perfumes i think yeah anyway so um this is what a gift guide looks like now the last touch is to actually add your affiliate links so you can add your affiliate link to the images also the product name. So to add to link text, you have to highlight the text and then you have to go to the link button right over here at the top, this link icon, click that, and then add um, the affiliate link like so, and then click enter or hit enter. And you can tell that the text is linked now because now it has like an underline. So Canva does that automatically, which is kind of nice. You can also add 
link to the images the same way. You just go to um, link and then write the link or copy and paste it if you have it somewhere else. And now your image and your text um, link to the actual product page. So, you know, when someone actually downloads the PDF, they will be able to click the link or click this text and they will be taken to the actual product page. So it's pretty simple with Canva. So um, yeah, that's kind of nice actually. So this is what, you know, a very simple gift guide looks like. And again, if you want the free templates that I made, then go to the blog post that I have linked in the description below and you'll be able to download them for free. Anyway, that's it for today and I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you later. Bye!